I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor, and today we are doing a comparison video between two very popular Austin neighborhoods, River Place versus Steiner Ranch. Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. And like I mentioned, today we are going to be comparing two super, I guess that's four, two very popular neighborhoods in Austin, Steiner Ranch versus River Place, Austin, Texas, USA. I wanna know though, what neighborhood do you live in? What neighborhoods do you like? Are there any neighborhoods that you want me to compare one versus the other? I kinda wanna know what you guys are thinking. I really like hearing from you guys and interacting. So if you have thoughts or feedback, leave a comment. I'm always excited to hear from you guys. First thing to note about both of these neighborhoods is they're actually pretty close to each other. They're both located west of Austin. If you are looking at a map and you look at our one of our major highways, which is Mopac, headed west about 25 minutes or so, you will first run into River Place. And then if you go down a few more minutes more, you will run into Steiner Ranch. I feel like because of the location alone, the two neighborhoods have a lot of things in common. However, there are a few really big differences between the two. And well, just watch this video till the end and I will tell which one is my favorite. So let me start with a little bit of history about Steiner Ranch. They started home development there, I believe it was in the early 90s. It is the epitome of a master planned community. There are community pools, there's a community elementary school, there's sidewalks and walking trails everywhere. And it's just got this really like comfortable kind of established like suburb feel to it. And it still feels really elegant. It's pretty hilly. A lot of the homes are built like on hills. And if you get up high enough, you can have some really beautiful views of the lake. The thing about Steiner Ranch is even though they started development in the early 90s, they are actually still building homes now. It's always been a pretty sought after neighborhood for a few reasons. First of all, it is in the Leander School District, which is pretty highly rated. It's kind of more in like a prestigious part of town. Most neighborhoods that are located west of Austin tend to be higher end. And the fact that it is a master plan community and it has so many amenities really has a big draw. One of the things that I don't super love about Steiner Ranch is that it is such an enormous community. I really don't know exactly how many homes there are in the community, but I want to say it's like literally thousands. And you can go in and drive and drive and drive and see house after house after house after house. Now, it does have a really attractive look to it. The community areas are well manicured. It's got a couple community pools and there's just like a lot of community events going on. But generally speaking, it is pretty removed from the rest of town and it takes kind of a while to get anywhere. There is a shopping center in Steiner Ranch that has like a Randall's, a coffee shop, kind of like small things that you might need immediately but if you want to go to a big grocery store if you want to go to the movies if you want to go to like a mall I personally really like the domain which is in Austin proper it's like a shopping center it takes about half an hour to get there which isn't the end of the world it just takes a little bit longer So the neighborhood that we are comparing Steiner Ranch to is River Place. River Place is also located west of Austin. If you look at a map and you look at Mopac, just go west about 20 to 25 minutes and you will run into River Place. So there are a couple things that make River Place unique compared to Steiner Ranch, though it is also a master planned community. Steiner Ranch has a pretty uniform look to it and honestly, so does River Place, but it looks like River Place, like they took a little bit more time and consideration in the design of the homes. They look a little bit more individualized and a little bit unique. Honestly, they might've been the exact same Builder and they might have the same exact floor plan inside, but each one just looks a little bit more different. And I think that gives it a ton of character. <music> Also, the entire neighborhood is built on a massive hill. The main road is called Big View, which is basically like a canyon. Like it's it's a huge long hill. I don't know exactly how long it is, but I'd say at least a mile long, like going downhill. Most of the homes around Big View, there's a bunch of other streets, but most of the homes around it have incredible views of the canyon, Greenbelt, and then there's even a pocket of River Place that's kind of actually a big pocket that's super exclusive where a lot of the homes back up directly to the river. River Place. At 
the center of River Place, there is also a River Place Country Club, where of course they have a big golf course. And I think kind of like that big green manicured look sort of translates to the rest of the community. Everybody takes a lot of pride in their home. You can tell people spend a lot of time and money in keeping their yards looking really good. People also are really good at upkeep with their homes. Even though a lot of the homes are a little bit older and like 90s, right? So not like super old. I'm always seeing people working on like replacing roofing, working on the landscaping, replacing windows, doing whatever they can to make the homes look fresher and a little bit more modern. A lot of the style of homes that we tend to see in River Place is kind of this like brick colonial home, which gives it kind of a timelessly beautiful look. Another major thing that River Place is known for is the River Place Nature Trail. It's this stunning, hilly, picturesque nature trail with miles and miles of trails in River Place proper, where of course people that live there can go and like people that don't live there can go and visit and walk around. There's also a tennis court and there's several parks, sidewalks everywhere. One of the main roads has sidewalks going up the entirety of it, that's a big view. And once you get towards the top, you get to the stopping point of a canyon where there's like benches and overlooks. And it is stunning. You can see like panoramic views of the entire neighborhood. You can see houses, you can see the canyon, you can see part of the nature trail, you can see the golf course, and it's absolutely breathtaking. And it's facing west. So if you're there in the evening, you can see our beautiful Texas sunsets. And Texas has like some of the best sunsets I think I've seen in, in my life. As far as accessibility and proximity to things that one would need, honestly, River Place, I feel like is a little bit removed. There are things near the neighborhood, but I've been there a bunch of times. And I remember one time I drove out of the neighborhood and I timed it. It took me eight minutes to get out of like the basin and to get out of the neighborhood so I could like get on the main road so I could drive to the grocery store. Eight minutes just to get out of the neighborhood. Now I will say it's scenic and beautiful and it looks and feels like luxury and more expensive and it's actually kind of a joy going in and out. But I can imagine if you're in a super hurry and you've gotta be somewhere, it can probably be super annoying spending like eight minutes trying to get out of your neighborhood. So if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what the price range is in each of these neighborhoods is. I've got my computer here with me and I can tell you. So for looking at River Place, I pulled up homes that have sold in the last 90 days or the last three months. I didn't really specify the size or the age or condition or any of that. I just wanted to pull up prices to share with you guys. So the price ranges that I'm seeing for the last 90 days in River Place are 662, that's for a 1900 square foot house, all the way up to 2.6 million. And that is for a 5,500 square foot home. Of course, these houses are gonna come with all sorts of different amenities. Some of these homes have pools. Some of these homes are in that really bougie part that I showed you that back up to the river and are a lot more exclusive. And some of them are kind of like in like off streets that don't really have a view, but still in a really wonderful neighborhood. Most of the home prices that I am seeing here are consistently in the 900s to the low like 1 million mark. So most of these are, they start at like 890 to like 1.3 million. That's kind of the bulk of the price range in River Place. I know I think it's important for me to note that the list that I have for River Place, there were a list of 17 homes that sold in the last 90 days. I just pulled up a list of homes that have sold in Steiner Ranch in the last 90 days, and there are 52 homes. The sales price range in Steiner Ranch is anywhere from 545 to 1.5 million. It's like a $1.1 million difference, right? The most expensive home that sold in River Place was 2.6 million. The most expensive home that has closed in the last 90 days in Steiner Ranch is 1.5 million. So with all of that information, I personally love River Place. I love that there's walking trails. I love that there's so much nature there. I love how friendly everybody is there. Like I mentioned earlier, you can drive around or walk around and people will always say hi. It's just such a cool neighborhood. I don't honestly know too much about the country club or the golf club. I'm not a golfer, but I love the outdoors. I love being in nature. And when we catch a sunset over there, it is like mind blowing, amazing, gorgeous, and just such a joy to see. Anyway guys, 
I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor. That is the information that I have for you guys on these two neighborhoods, Steiner Ranch versus River Place. Which is your favorite neighborhood? Do you have one? Is there another set of neighborhoods that you want me to compare? Are you trying to decide between areas? Do you think your neighborhood's better than somewhere else? Let me know. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Till next time. Oh, 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 o